Oh shit, it's a Barracuda, guys. Oh crap. Oh no! Check this out! There we go. What the hell is that? Alright guys, I'm out at Omaru. I took my boat out. Can you imagine that? No one does that ever. Got some dolphins cruising around me. And sea is pretty calm. It's just a matter of a short time frame before the easterlies pick up again. Before that, I gotta get my lures in the water. Hopefully we can catch one keeper blue cod today. That would be nice. Out the other side from the breakwater. See the dolphins here. <laughs> Little Hector dolphins, they just try like following my boat around here. That's pretty cool. Lots of people pay for that experience. Let's chuck on a micro jig and let's see what we can get here. Awesome. Really nice condition so far. I'm really wary out here because the swell is quite large actually, even though it's only a 0.8 meter swell forecast. Just gotta make sure that doesn't turn into breaking waves or anything like that before we make it back safely. So yeah, we're just gonna be drifting around here for now. So let's try my trusty old micro jig first. Let's see if we can get any bites around here. Otherwise we head out a little bit deeper. Still have the dolphins cruising around here. Test the water. Oh, it's very shallow here. I think we have to head out a little bit deeper. We'll see how we go here. Just dropping the micro jig. It's still not very deep here, unfortunately. Doesn't have to be too deep to catch a blue cod, so we'll see. First fish on a tiny blue cod. Good sign, tiny little fella. I thought we're gonna pick up some massive blue cod around here. Almost got snaked up. Oh, yep, yeah, we got something bigger on. I think we got our legal fish. Could be a car, right? It's fighting pretty strong. Hopefully, it's not a barracuda. Oosh. Oi, what is that? Just realized I didn't bring... Oh god, check this out here. What have we got on here? Oh shit, it's a barracuda, guys. Oh crap. Oh, it came off. They actually give a really good uh, fight on light tackle always. Woo. Hopefully he didn't wreck my line. Oh yeah, he wrecked my line a little bit. I have to retie. Bloody barracuda. I forgot the most important thing and that is my landing net. And also my lip gripper. I hate when I forget those essentials. Releasing a barracuda without a lip gripper is a bit of an issue. They got pretty big teeth, these guys. All right, while we wait for the next bite, I thought I'd show you guys a little clip from our penguin expedition the night before. Holy guacamole! There's so many tourists out at the breakwater. Well done, you guys. Well done ignoring the sign and walking out there. Awesome. So you're not really allowed to fish off the breakwater here. Apparently there was an accident and now no one is allowed to go there anymore. And now come evening, everyone is wandering around down the breakwaters looking for those penguins. It looks like they don't realize that those shacks out there are not the penguins. So they're all wandering out to the shack colony. Really good thinking because if you don't see the actual penguins, then you still think you have seen the penguins and you go away with a warm nice feeling that you've seen the penguins in Omaru. Typical tourists aren't they? What do you think? Uh, Typical tourists? Or what do you think? Yeah I think so. Well guys look at all the penguins here. Ooh, Hundreds of penguins. You don't want to scare those penguins away too much you know. So they're all flying off. Oh shit. Who knew penguins can fly? Honestly, at, when we were fishing at the wharf, there was a French guy coming and he asked us uh, if penguins can actually fly, if they have wings. He reckons in France the penguins, they fly. Interestingly, I have never seen any penguins in France, so I can't really 
confirm if they can fly in France, but I doubt it. Uh, these penguins look kind of different. I think we got cheated on earlier. Maybe those weren't penguins after all. Nation said all the penguins are dead. No, no, that's no. pretty nasty. We got a blue coat. Oh, yep, guys. Uh, looks like it's a legal one. He's hooked pretty good on my micro jig. Okay, let's check him. Check the size. Oh no! He slipped out. He was a legal one. Oh god! He slipped out my hand. Oh god, that was annoying. Well, we know there's some blue cut here, so that's a good sign. It happens if you don't have a lip gripper. Well, I better make a mark where I just caught them. Maybe we'll catch another one just here as well. Let's have a look if we can find ourselves a penguin. The poor penguins have to deal with hundreds of tourists each day. Here are two of them discussing a plan on how to get past all these people. The setting couldn't be any more dramatic. This guy was too many to come up this morning. And here's the star of the show. If he was human, his name would be Brad Pitt. Gesundheit. You almost made it, little fella. Requires a lot of courage to come through here. There he goes, he made it. Have a good night. Okay, so what's happening over here? Oh, yep, we got another one on. This guy is only 30, so it's a bit smaller now. Ah, come on. Got these black magic traces here. It's just such a mess to get them out always. What the hell is this thing here anyway? Why is it like that? Okay, I'm gonna tie on another trace and then hopefully we get our blue coat. Well, I'm just catching tons of blue coat now. Oh, all these small ones on me. Just as the wind's picking up now, the best bite time is starting and I cannot fish all the way into the bite time because of the wind. What's going on with you? Looks like you got some splashes on there. Got a really good blue coat, guys. This time we're not gonna lose him. Check this out. Oh yeah. We don't even need to measure this one. This is the size of blue coat we're talking about. That is a nice blue coat. Oh yeah. 44 centimeters. Blue coat. This one can go in the bin. Oop, we got another one on. Not quite as big. Looks like we're in a good spot for blue coat. Check out how these guys can roll. Man, that's amazing. And this is how they make all the mess in your gear. Oh yeah, I think we got ourselves a second legal blue coat. Got ourselves a 38 centimeter blue coat and the other one was 44. Definitely not so easy to deal with this blue coat. Almost lost it again, did you see that? Almost jumped over the board again. done with our fishing. Woo! It is so nice and untouched here. Oh my oh, I love it. Now we gotta head back quick there and get those bad boys on ice. Wow. 
much back in safety now in the just near the harbor. What a morning! Look at all these cakes there. That wharf here behind me. That's where we caught the big seven gill shark yesterday. It was uh, super exciting catching that one here. Oh, we're back. We made it back. There's the car. Dragged it up the boat ramp. And yeah, just gonna prepare the blue coat now. Anybody home? Nobody at home. Anybody at home? Haitian is hiding. Asian is hiding. <laughs> is that a ghost in the house? There's a ghost in the house. I left and there was Haitian. I come back and there's a ghost. Okay, here's the chili bin. And just got myself a little bit of ice here. this out. Check this guy, this guy had even got some parasite on its fin. See that? It's got two parasites on its fin, like look at these guys here. Small ones too. Is okay. What did you parasite? Did you see? Hmm. They were on its fin. It's like those tongue-eating lice, sort oh, of thing. Oh. But on the fin. Interesting, eh? Those little lice things here. Hmm. Some uh, parasite that's eating away on the fins of those blue cod. They latch themselves onto the blue cod fin and then. That's it, then they can't come off anymore. I've never seen that before. Interesting. Now this one is trying to eat the small one. Check this out. What a nasty bugger. Also, Sorry, just cut. All right, almost done with the fish. Check this out. And look who's here. <laughs> Can I have a nice little blue cut dinner now? Check this out, there's a lot of meat coming off those two blue cod. It's all right, yeah. Yeah. That's only salt and vinegar. Do you like your fish? Good? Good, good, good. good. good as always. Good Very soft always. and flaky, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well guys, what do you reckon? Did you enjoy this little adventure here? At the Omaru Harbor, boat fishing? Give it a thumbs up if you did like that or thumbs down if you are like a total Christmas Grinch even though it's not Christmas but you're a Christmas Grinch anyway then thumbs down otherwise yeah thumbs up